All right, welcome back to Teacher's Tech Bar. We're going to continue looking at summarizing data using R. This is our uh, second video in this little series here. In this video, we're going to look specifically at categorical variables. And so again, just to refresh your memory, uh, number one, if you don't have this loaded, if you've started over again on this, just make sure you run these libraries to ensure that you can do some of the things we're going to do in this video. And you also have the summary statistics and tables um, document here or our markdown file that you can follow along with throughout the video. So in this situation what I want to do is I want to look at a question as we go to this diamonds data set and we look at I think cut might have something to do with diamonds and I want to know what's the breakdown of the different styles of diamond or the different cuts of diamond. And so what I want to do is answer the question how many and what proportion of diamonds in the data set are each respective cut. I might not even know all of the different cuts, right? It's only showing me the first 10 rows and there's 53,940 rows and I don't know much about diamonds, so I kind of want to know like what are the cuts of diamonds and then follow that up with how many of each there are in this data set. So let's run through what this looks like because it looks like kind of a lot. First of all, we're going to make sure that we give it a name. So this is going to be the cut variable we're going to focus on. And I'm going to look at the count of each of those cuts and the proportions. So that's what's going to remind me down the road what this code does. Again, we're looking at the diamonds data set. So we got to reference that first, tell the computer where it should look to go start doing the things we want it to do. And then we have the pipe symbol and then and we're similar to what we did in the quantitative section, we're going to group by a categorical variable and we're going to group by the cut variable. And you have to write it exactly as you see in this top row. So we're going to group by the cut variable and then we're going to summarize. And this time we can't summarize by taking the mean or the IQR like we did in the last one, but we just want to count. And that's what I'm going to give it a name before the equal sign. That's the name I'm giving it. And the way to count is to use this N with these parentheses. Make sure you're really in line with what the parentheses are here. Um, and you can click right behind and it'll show you that you've closed the parentheses. Okay, so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me the number of um, each respect in each respective group. And then we wanna make a new variable. And that new variable is gonna be proportion, or what we're gonna call it just for short, prop. Again, before the equal sign, a name I'm giving it. And the way we're going to count, we're going to do that is we're going to take this variable before the count, okay, and we're going to divide it by the sum or adding all of them up, right? That's how you calculate a proportion. And then what we're going to do to make the table easy to read is we're going to arrange this new count variable um, in descending order, okay? It'll make more sense when I pop this up and we'll go back through it. So now you can see we have ideal, premium, very good, good, and fair. And we've arranged and we have the count which is the number of these ideals the number of the premiums the number of the very good etc and then we also have the proportion or the prop which is what we made right here so we have the proportion of ideals the proportion of total that are premium the proportion of the total that are very good etc okay and then you can see we've arranged them in descending order from greatest to least and this makes it easy to read so that as we're trying to figure out what uh, you know? Which diamonds are are represented the most in here? The ideal cut, and there's 21,000 of them, and they represent roughly 40% of uh, the diamonds in this data set. So that's how we start to just look at one categorical variable and start to make some counts and proportions for each of those. The other thing we've talked about in class is a two-way table to look at some conditional distributions. So we might want to not only look at what cut they are, but we also want to make see like what proportion of those that are an ideal cut are a certain color of diamond. And so in this one, I'm going to call it totals. Again, theme, name, the arrow, reference the diamonds data set, because we, again, always have to look at the data set first before telling it to reference certain variables and do calculations. And then we want to group by the color of the diamond and the cut. So we're going to group by actually two things now. And then we're going to summarize and we're going to say the number is equal to n again similar in the last code this is something that you have to write in order for it to calculate and then we're going to spread this out by the color and this number variable that we just created so again let's run this and go back through each component so you can see that the top row is the color variable d e f g h i j and then going down this two-way table we have the cut variable Fair, good, very good, premium, and ideal. 
And then within each of these, we're saying, okay, there are 163 that are fair and the color D. There are 1,500, roughly 1,500 that are the color D and very good. And then you can go through that logic throughout. This is essentially creating a two-way table. This is creating a two-way table like we've looked at in class before. So we can start looking at conditional distributions. Now, it might be easier to understand if we start to make conditional distributions, but we look at proportions in the tables. Okay. And we might want to know, okay, of the total diamonds, what proportion are fair and D? Right. So instead of saying 163, we can do 163 out of the total, which we saw before was roughly 50, I can't, I'm not going to, can't find it, um, 53,000. Okay. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple code. We're going to do a prop.table and we're going to do the diamonds, dollar sign, the variable we want, which is cut, diamonds, dollar sign, color. And then we're going to round these answers to four decimal places. Okay. And so you can see that this right here, 0 0.0030, is the equivalent of doing 163 divided by the total number of diamonds, which was 53, roughly 53,000, okay? So if you just do it this way, this is gonna represent the total. Now, if I wanna look at, say, what proportion of the Ds are fair, what proportion of the Ds are good, very good, premium, ideal, respectively, that conditional distribution, okay, we have to add in this, little part of the code here that's going to say margin equals two okay and we can talk about that in class further so what it's going to allow you to do is look at the conditional distributions and this is going to be helpful for when we go to create those segmented bar graphs to represent something like this is that it's going to give you the actual numbers to support those visualizations okay and what you should notice is that each of these columns should add up to or they do add up to one right because you have all of these represent the D cut diamond or the D color diamond. And then these are the varying uh, cuts. All right. So that's how you begin to summarize categorical variables using R to create some tables, both with one variable and then to start looking at some two way tables. All right. So we'll get a ton of practice with this. I look forward to helping you with it all and to see how you apply it to your own research down the road. We're still marching along this process of learning R. Let's keep it rolling.